This is a 2005 Cadillac DeVille. Came in with a P0385. And also sometimes a, a 1372 code. But once the codes were cleared, the one to come back right away was a, a the P0385, which is a crankshaft sensor B malfunction. I get, uh, I've had a couple people ask me about the two crank sensors on the Cadillac North Star. These can be uh, an interesting little system, but one of the things about it is they use the two sensors to calculate the uh, uh, crankshaft position set, uh, on the engine. And actually, it can be an angle mode, uh, crank A mode, or crank B mode. And there's a, oh, let me get back here, I'll show you. There's a function called decoding on a Tech 2. I'm not sure how other scan tools do it. This is under engine output controls. So crank position sense and decoding mode. And this engine does start and run. But if you go here and go to coding mode, and if we tell this engine uh, to, uh, to go on angle, it'll start. We Time A, it'll start. But if we select time B, that means it's going to only look at crankshaft position sensor B. We command that on. This thing will actually uh, not start. Go ahead and try and crank it up, and the engine won't run. Long story short is that I went through the whole flow chart here, where basically the first thing they have you do is test power. Um, test power down at the crankshaft position sensor. Um, test for the low reference at the crankshaft position sensor. And also, uh, you know, connect the test light between uh, the low reference volt circuit and the 12 volt reference circuit. And if that all works, the next step was to actually tap a uh, toggle a, a power to the signal wire. Let me see if I can find my schematic here. They actually were wanting you to toggle power to this uh, signal wire, which is the yellow and black, which I did. And when and you're doing that, you put it on the, uh, the scan tool on the reference B for the crankshaft position sensor and you should be able to see RPM. Um, doing that I had no cranking RPM. Uh, the crankshaft sensor has been replaced in this originally and that's what part of the problem was. So as I was toggling that I would have no RPM here when the engine was cranking or, or when I was toggling it. Um, also as, right now on a scan tool if I crank it we have zero RPM as you heard it doesn't start. But with a scope on here and see if I can set this down in a position where you guys can see it and I can crank if at all possible. I'm hoping you guys saw a good clean crank signal. And how I got that signal is actually on connector 2 uh, terminal, what was it, 28, it's a yellow and black wire, you actually have to take this cover off um, to get to that. So up to this point we have a good signal from that crankshaft position sensor. So the next step is to test basically from here to the other side of the PCM connector, which I'll unplug that real quick. to test to the other side of that sensor signal on the PCM connector, which is going to be a little bit of a treat to undo here. Stick a little bit. Okay, now I've got that unplugged. You saw our scan tool beep because it lost communication. So basically, pin number 28. is on the back side there, the second row, it's yellow and black, and we got to check to the terminal there. This is more than likely going to be a PCM problem, but I'm going to double check that terminal. 